hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in revit architecture i am architect sonu rai from glad studio and in this today video tutorial i am going to discuss with you what is parametric family in revit and how to create a basic parametric family for beginners in this tutorial so if you look at the definition here parametric family creates rules in the family so suppose this is a door and you are creating any rules like if you want to give some specific height and width to this door you can create by using parameter parameter some parameters like length shape size so you can create this and you can edit depending on your design and size accordingly so it will save a lot of time in your project so revit families can be parametric these parameters are the framework for creating family elements they are based on reference planes that are dimensioned and leveled so we'll see how to create a basic uh, parametric family by using a table in revit so let's begin i'm going to my revit here and i'm going to families here and i'm going to click new and in the earlier tutorial i have told you how to create a family of furnitures beds but now in this tutorial we'll see how to create a parametric family so i'm going to select uh, furniture so i'm going to show you how to create a table that will be parametric so we'll look for parametric furniture here so i'm going to use this parametric furniture dot rft so i'm going to select this and i will open this now if you'll see this uh, this is a reference level floor plan and these are reference plane so for creating uh, some parameters you are required to draw some reference plane so this is the reference plane so i am going to draw some reference plane here and i will draw like this and then i will draw some reference plane this side and this side and now these are reference plane and can dimension it so next thing i am going to dimension this so i am going to annotate and i will use align dimension here and i am going to dimension this and i am going to click this equal here and I will click once and these all dimension will be equal in size so again i will uh, dimension it and i will give the exact dimension here so i will repeat here also and we'll use annotate align dimension and i'm going to dimension this and i'm going to click equal here so these are equal again i will dimension the whole thing and i will bring it outside so this is the first step and after this i am going to make this as parameters so i am going to select this dimension here and now you can see this is a symbol of creating parameter so i am going to click this create parameter and you can see this is parametric properties and now i am going to name this this as a length so this is length so I'm going to select length here and I will click OK and you can see this is the length. Now again I'm going to select this dimension here and I'm going to create a, another parameter here and I'm going to type width here. So this is the width. So now uh, I'm going to increase its size and in the length and the width and we'll see whether or not it is parametric so i'm going to select this family types and i'm going to change the length here and i'm going to increase it to 4000 mm and this one to 3000 and we'll apply and you can see this dimension is changing accordingly so whatever things we'll create inside that will be parametric and that the shape length width will change according to whatever changes you are making here so now i'm going back here and now i will create a table top so i'm going to create 
extrusion here and I am going to select this and I am going to give the table height as 750 mm and some thickness so thickness will start from 730 because it will be in air and we have to create some legs later on so I am going to make this as 730 mm the bottom part and 750 the top part so this is the standard here and now I am going to apply and I will use this rectangle tool here and I will make a table here so you can see this is the width and length and now I am going to finish this and we'll see in uh, 3d so I am going to make it realistic so this is the table top if you want you can change the material and you can select this and you can give any material here so I am going to create a new material and we'll give any texture here so I am going to type wood here and I am going to select any wood here so I am going to select this cherry here and I will apply so you can see this is the table top now we will go to reference level here and we will see whether or not it is changing its shape and size if we will making changes here so I am going to make this again 4000 and I am going to make this as 3000 so you can see uh, the shape and sizes is changing here you can see so this is the advantage of making it parametric so i'm going back here so now next thing that we are required to create some legs here so i'm going to create legs and for this i'm going to create again some reference plane for creating legs so I am going to create here and I am going to use reference plane so you can give some offset here and we will make it equal later on so I am going to give this offset here again we will create some offset here we will draw some reference plane for legs and again I am going to draw some reference plane here so you can see there are four corners one two three four and now we will use dimensioning and you can type di or you can go to annotate and you can use align dimension here and this is 112 mm and you can dimension it here 140 again i am going to dimension this here no need to dimension it because already we have done it again i am going to dimension it here and this is similar to 112 so these are enough so now i am going to select this dimension here use control and i am going to select here and will go here and select this create parameter and i'm going to create a parameter and you are required to give a name here so i'm going to name this as legs and i'm going to click ok so now you can see this is the uh, reference plane for creating legs and now i'm going to this family types you select this and you can see there is leg if you want to change the dimension here you can do it and now i am going to make this as 100 and i am going to apply and you can see everything is 100 so it will save you a lot of time now the next step is to create legs for this table so i am going to again create panel here and i am going to extrusion here and now I am going to start from zero from ground level and you can uh, take the table uh, legs height as per your table top bottom so I am going to make this as 730 and you can 
use this rectangle here and this is the legs here and you are uh, the required to lock all these four corners this is very important so you have to carefully lock this then only it will change according to shape and size of the table otherwise you will find it difficult to make this legs and you are required to move so you, this is the most important part that you are required to lock all this and you can see carefully these all are locked so now again i am going to repeat the same thing here and you can lock everything whatever is coming can lock this carefully so you are required to click four times to lock everything again i am going to lock all these four so this is the most important part that you are required to lock all the corners to make it parametric so i am going to finish this and we'll see in you can see uh, these all are four legs here i am going to select this and you can change the material i am going to apply the same material here cherry and you can see these four corners are four legs are created so now we will check whether or not it is parametric according to shape and size like length and width if you will change that it's shifting or not so i am going to uh, my family types here and now i am going to change the length here so that should move as per length and width so i am going to make it 4000 i am going to make it 3000 apply okay boom so now we are okay with this you can see all the legs have been shifted as per length and width of this table so this is the basic method of creating family parameters so this will be very useful tutorial for beginners and in the next video tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics in parametric family in rabbit so thanks for watching bye bye